The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're continuing our Ableton ABCs with the stock plugin that is the ultimate pitch modulation tool. So pitch modulation is a really handy way to send things to the background or give static sounds a little bit more movement. Let's take the guitar in the beginning of this beat, for example. Since this sound is not completely realistic, so a plugin like Chorus will really be helpful to give it some motion. The amount of delay between the detuned signal and the dry signal is controlled with the milliseconds. So this part of it is like a delay plugin. This top knob picks where you high pass the signal before it hits the chorus. So maybe you wanna have chorus on the entire guitar sound, or you just wanna soften the picking with a little high end detune. it. The second delay gives you some really cool controls. You could either turn it off and not use it altogether. You could choose the fixed delay amount. You could have the delay amount modulate with whatever you choose here in the pitch modulation section. So for our pitch modulation section, we can pick how far the pitch flutters. And now here we pick the speed that it flutters at. For this vibrato effect, I like having it at 100%, but you can create more of a classic chorus effect by turning it down. I think I'm gonna use one chorus for this vibrato effect and a second chorus for the more traditional detuning effect. And just like a delay plugin, we also have a feedback which controls how many repeats we get. I think I'm gonna use a little bit less feedback than that so I could use some more on the dry wet. Are your plucks popping? Have you spent countless hours programming your plucks with no results? Introducing Poppin' Plux Volume 1, the complete collection of serum presets that will get your Plux so poppin' your song just might pop off. Poppin' Plux is available now only at Holoops.com. The next thing I think Chorus is gonna really help in this beat is the vocal sample. Let's try copying our choruses. Use that as a starting point to see what they sound like. I think I'm gonna put these after the amp instead of before the amp. I think I'm just gonna use the second one. And this times 20 knob takes whatever value you enter here in the amount and multiplies it by 20 for a way more extreme chorus effect. But I'm not trying to go to outer space today, so I'm just gonna keep this here. Do something a little bit more normal. Maybe. Also switching the polarity will reverse the direction that it goes up and down. Instead of going up first, it'll go down first. Slight variation on the same sound.
if you missed the sound of the direct dry vocal without any chorus on it, chorus also makes an amazing reverb sauce. So I could drag this back here and just have chorus be one of the plugins altering the signal before it hits the reverb. Well, there you have it. That concludes my complete sauce guide to Ableton's built-in chorus. I hope you found all the tips and tricks in this stock plugin tutorial useful. And if you wanna see the rest of the Ableton ABCs, I'll put a link to the rest of the series in the description of all the videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time with another tutorial. Peace out.